Hi, welcome to Ultra Kill Early Access Any Percent Full Game Guide. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to show you how to speedrun the entirety of Ultra Kill, at least here in Early Access, for Stacked One. Uh, let me real quick change to proper splits. Okay, there we go. Not that the splits are gonna matter, but um. Starting off with Prelude, I already have a video on Prelude, but some of it's changed and might make more sense to just kind of have one cohesive guide with everything in it. Uh, filth Clipping is probably the most popular way to do 01 and the fastest. Maybe not the most popular, but just want to get this filth into this corner. Uh, you blow up the other two with the core eject. You look around here, maybe. Dash back, wait for him to attack. Run forward into the wall. Did something there that was wrong, but hopefully I'll get it this time. Oh, jeez. Uh, if you do miss that, you can just come down and it'll spawn you out of bounds. And uh, from here, now would probably be a good time to learn about slam storage. It's going to be one of the core mechanics, I guess you could say, uh, moving forward. Something you'll definitely need to learn how to do. You just uh, slide against the wall and then slam, but while slamming you just jump and then that way when you hit the ground you get a buttload of height or you can get a buttload of forward momentum if you slide. And here you can either hit the door or the checkpoint to uh, move forward. I was trying to uh, skip the boss fight there show you what that looked like but I messed it up. So just coyote jump, slam start off that, do this, and then I'm going to try and show you the faster way, which is to hit that from underneath, and you keep moving forward against the pipe here, you want to go into this corner, and you dash into that corner, not well against the corner, but into it, and that'll put you in the pipe, and then you can just move on. Alternatively, you can either hit the boss door or the checkpoint, and then restart a checkpoint to fight the boss, that loses about four seconds, it's not a huge deal for new runners. For O2, uh, this is where you're going to want to practice a lot of mid-air ultra boosting, which is a tech that I have a video on, but I'll briefly cover it here. Uh, it's very important, it saves a lot of time throughout the entirety of the run, so I definitely recommend practicing it. But this is a level that actually recently got a change in the route. From here, shoot those guys with a piercer shot, open this door, it's very important, and then slide core eject to launch yourself up here, make sure you don't open that door at all, and then you'll be able to just jump out here. And then this is where you're going to want to practice your mid-air ultra boosting, so you've got to shoot it slightly above you, and as soon as you launch that core eject, you... Uh, dash forward and it'll be behind you so you like dash forward turn around and then you want to make sure you have your malicious rail cannon which is the explodey one you shoot that behind you into the core eject and as long as you're close enough to it you'll get launched super far you'll either take 35 or 50 damage depending on how close you are to the core eject um, but once you've hit that checkpoint and you've got this door go over to here hit this door and you're gonna do the same thing Slam or er, slam down, dash forward, and don't do it like that. That was not good, but same kind of thing. Even if you don't get the full speed off it, doesn't matter. You'll get launched right into the pipe, and then just dash into it. Specifically, the corner again. Uh, there's an easier way to do that, where instead of doing that second mid-air ultra boost, you can either just use an over pump from the green shotty. Or you can 
go around or through that arena into the final arena and just exit normally. But moving forward is double down. You're just going to slam storage off the opening door here if you mess it up. Just do it again. Shoot the glass above you. Core eject your way up these stairs. Before you start the boss, make sure you have an over pump. And you're just going to be parry him with the uh, over pump. And after you've uh, parried him with the over pump, it should be uh, one red fist melee shotgun shot, red fist melee shotgun shot, and that should put you into the second phase. If it doesn't, you might have to parry his next move while he's enraged. Not 100% sure. Uh, sometimes it goes wrong, sometimes you don't deal enough damage, whatever. Once you're in this point where he's kneeled down, you want to do a coin add, which I will try to perform, and then I will show you how it works. Okay, so for the coin add, all you're doing is... There's quite a few different ways to do it, especially on Sword Machine. The way I did it right there is I threw one coin on the other side of him moved backwards and aimed slightly upwards so that this coin goes high enough so that I don't actually shoot or don't accidentally shoot it and so that it stays on this side of him that way there's this coin here there's that coin there you shoot the far coin with your rail cannon and your rail cannon shot will go through hit him hit the coin ricochet back to the other coin so now it's going to go back hit him again hit the first coin and at that point if you're fast enough you can very quickly swap off of the rail cannon to your coin revolver, and you throw two more coins. And each time you throw out a coin, the rail shot, which should now be either hitting the second coin or the boss, that rail gun shot will come out, hit the coin, go back and hit him again. And because there's so much hit stun, you can do that twice. You can like throw two coins and it'll ricochet back and forth between the boss. So then, that's this level. It's just a boss fight, pretty much. Literally, like, one kill. Uh, 04, very simple level. It's pretty much just an arena and running straight from the beginning to the end, aside from an arena skip at the end. Basically, just follow what I do here, and you should have a pretty similar experience. Like, there's nothing too technical going on here other than how you kill the enemies. So I'll just show you how to do that. checkpoint there to get some HP. You uh, launch to the left off of that first checkpoint so that you don't bonk on the ceiling. Hit that one. And then here you skip the arena. Just jump over the trigger. There you go. 05. Do that. Do that. Checkpoint on this door and these guys will stand up faster. Uh, similarly to Sword Machine, you do the coin add as well there, and there you go. Very quick service. Uh, 1-1 is a lot of movement. This is where it's really important to know about, uh, it's been called free dash jumps, dash storage, there's lots of names for it. Again, um, or actually I don't think in this recording I've mentioned it, but Herb Messiah has a lot of great amazing tutorial videos on movement definitely go watch those if you're interested in some of the more intricate or like the intricacies of these movement options but to put it very quickly and simply a dash storage is when you interrupt a dash using something else so the most common way to do that is dash jump now that dash is stored and when i slide and release slide it will unleash that dash. So as you can see here, I'm gonna like slide, and when I release, I'm gonna go a lot farther than when I do it after. So like slide, release, I'm just gonna tap it. 
I went all the way over here. But if I just tap it here, I only went like half as far. That's because of the dash storage. So I'm going to get that again. And then what you can do is you slide and release slide. And after you release slide, you jump. And that gives you a dash jump that only costs one stamina. And you can do it quite a few times before you run out of dash frames. Um, the other thing is, obviously, if you just release slide without doing a free dash jump or without interrupting the slide, you're going to spend those uh, dash frames or whatever and you won't be able to do it anymore. So, with that preface, this is how you're mostly going to be doing the level. It's mostly just following kind of what I do, how I do the arenas, that sort of thing. I'll briefly mention the things as I do them. So dash jump out there. Right there, instead of using the rest of my storage, I just jumped while da er, while sliding so that I could retain it. Core eject up there. Eject these guys. Skip this checkpoint by jumping over it. Save some time later. Checkpoint here. One dash one can be a huge pain. Definitely takes a lot of practice. Uh, one dash two, however, is kind of janky. There's a way to save about five or ten seconds over the easier route, but it's a very awkward glitch. It doesn't always work for me. I kind of have a hard time pulling it off in runs. But if you go for this way, you're gonna need a charge over pump. You want to bump that right pillar and just alternate between spamming W and D slide against that wall at that angle and then you can just launch yourself to the end here however if you don't want to deal with that because that clip is understandably very janky you can come up here the intended path blow those guys up with the fist get the drums with a ricochet those guys with an over pump open up the shortcut and it's the same thing Wow, I am missing all my split shots. And that's kinda how you wanna do one too. I kinda messed up the arena, but it's that same general idea. You kill the dudes up top with the uh, coin shots, drop down, kill those dudes with the coin or the street cleaners with the coin shot, and then you let the second wave of street cleaners come far enough back and when they explode they'll blow up the drones with them. If you don't, you can either use your revolver or your shotgun parries to shoot the remaining enemies. 1-3 uh, has recently gotten a lot simpler because of the soap, if not a couple seconds slower, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. And then you wait for those rocks to pop up, and then you pause, hit checkpoint, and you'll jump up faster. Hit the soap. And there you go. Uh, V2 is nice and easy once you learn how to cheese them. Just punch a coin into him five times. And there you go. That's V2. Here, I'm gonna do another mid air ultra boost, but I'll show a slower route that's a bit safer. Oh, I didn't get it. 
That was close though. Uh, so right there, I tried to do the mid-air ultra boost into that jump pad, and that'll launch you straight to the end. That can be really fast, but it's really precise. If you mess it up, you just come over here, hit the checkpoint to regain your HP. Slide core eject off, over pump. There you go. Um, the other way to start that level, if you don't want to do mid-air, is to do this. You just over pump onto this bounce pad. Whoopsies. Kind of messed that up. It's the same general idea. You don't always want to take that checkpoint. If you can make it all the way over here in one go, it'll always be faster. But that checkpoint's just a nice safety kind of thing. 2 2, relatively simple level. Uh, you want to start off with your mal rail. Shoot that one through the wall there, to the left of that window specifically. Shoot those two. Slam sword again. Over pump over here. Core eject over here. Slam storage up here. And there you go. 2 3, you're gonna have to learn how to mind flare insta kill. This will be like a pretty important thing running forward, so it's another thing you'll have to practice a little bit to get used to. I might not be able to land it because I've been having a hard time landing them today for some reason, but uh, this level can be shortened quite a bit by just coming up here, slide against this wall at a very slight angle, you'll go to bounce, you want to hit the checkpoint from underneath like that. Charge and over pump. And then right as the mind flare is spawning those things, hit it with the uh, hitter with uh, or was it the over pump. And then there you go. Um, I'm gonna try to actually name that so you can see it. Oh my. Wow, I cannot win this. I mean, again, worst case scenario, you mess it up. She'll be super weak. Um, then, you move on to 2-4. Uh, this one can mess up a lot of runs, especially if you go for the Ultra Boost strat. Uh, I'll show you how to do that, because that is the fastest way to do it. Okay, wow. Oopsies. So, even if you don't want to do the mid-air one, if you haven't been practicing them or you don't want to do them, uh, there's a couple ways to do this. The most sensible way to do it, like the, I, I would say the best dichotomy between safety and time saved is to do a standing ultra boost here so you just launch it above you step a little bit back shoot that as it comes down yeah i would have had to do a jam blast i got the wrong one right there also these doors tend to be very sticky sometimes but get an ultra boost all the way over here I don't know if that's going to be far enough. Yeah, no. Like I said, this level can absolutely destroy some runs. Because it's mostly dependent on just getting a good ultra boost. Which isn't necessarily RNG, but for most intents and purposes, the precision for it may as well be. Okay. 
so for this wow this boss fight you're gonna wanna stick a magnet up here where his hand's gonna spawn into just spamming shotgun parries you wanna land that parry on his fist I completely whiffed there we go punch two coins into him while he's rubbing his eyes and then coin add Mostly just kind of spamming shotgun parry the entire time. I didn't do the proper boss DPS strats justice there. Uh, but it's that kind of idea, you know. 3-1, uh, this clip can also be kind of a pain, but mostly just sliding on the right side of the teeth there. And then there's a couple ways to do this. Again. You really want to learn mid-air ultra this thing, because some other level where it saves a ton of time. I totally with that, but I should be able to recover here. No, I didn't. Wow, what is wrong with me today? There we go. This arena. I missed that. You're supposed to hit the guy on the far end, but not a huge deal. Another mind flare insta. There we go. I actually hit that one. So, kind of scuffed final arena, but still, like, right on that 30. Um. Yeah, and then you're already on Gabe. Uh, for this, Slam Surge up here, obviously. Uh, you can mid-air Ultra Boost here as well. I don't miss it. That checkpoint is like really tall and uh, for some reason, like most checkpoints aren't. You spawn here, and then you want to wait to place down the nail for the power when he says power, and then you just hit him with it. Ideally, you want to shotgun parry him right as he goes to throw that spear if he does that attack, and it'll you'll get a bunch of damage on him. Again, coin adding. That was a really bad game, but for full game, he is kind of hard to get pretty optimal strats on. But that's kind of how, again, kind of the general vibe for the boss, I guess, where you just want to focus on doing it good enough. Just a lot of shotgun parries, making sure you get a coin ad in there somewhere, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, this has been a speedrun ultra kill. If there's anything I glossed over or completely forgot to mention, uh, post something in the comments because there is a <laughs> there's a really good chance that I just completely forgot to explain some things. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps you understand what's going on in the game. If you wanted to pick up the game on, or had a speedrun it or anything like that, but uh, yeah, bye.